Hey folks, welcome back. Mike here with Electric Head Records and uh, today we're going to talk about Record Store Day Drop 2, July 17th, 2021. So stick around. Alright, so uh, yeah, another one. Part 2 down, right? There was what, the 2 and then we've got Black Friday coming up. So, uh, I don't know what they're going to do next year. Are they Are going to combine it back into one? Is there going to be two days again? Do they like them being separated like that? Do you like them being separated like that? Comment below. Uh, also, tell me what you got in the comments below. Let's talk about that. What were you looking for? There's a couple things. I pretty much so got everything I was looking for, thankfully. Uh, granted, yes, we here at Electric Head Records own a shop, but we do not have a physical store, so I don't have access to these things yet ah uh, we will get there <clears throat> but um I pretty much have found everything on my list there was something I totally just brain farted on fucking forgot and boom or excuse me haven't forgot or eh, forgot it and then uh yeah anyway um and that was uh tad but uh, anyway, let's get into it. First one I got. We'll go in alphabetical order because that's how I have them in the box. I got Beastie Boys, Aglio, Eolio, and Raviolio, Petrolio. I don't know. Ah, yeah. So this is their 1995 punk. I don't hate when they call it hardcore because it's really pretty much just punk. Ah. Uh, demo style album that they put out really good stuff I was so happy that they put this one out because it seems like every record store day I end up buying uh, a Beastie Boys album so there's the inner sleeve little artwork that comes with it not really a sleeve just the inner slip there we go this is all done very demo style I really like that like like uh, something you photocopied and printed out, folded into a cassette back in the day. Polyline bang, very nice. And then on crystal clear, pretty pretty vinyl. Look at that. Uh, I haven't had a chance to listen to everything yet that I've gotten, um, but I did put this one in, and it was very nice. Now I don't want to hear anything about it for. You know, before we get into it, in the comments, this is just a very good album, <laughs> and I know there is quarrel <laughs> about the rights in it, and they're not making money on it, but I wanted the album, <laughs> and I paid the price, because when I went to take this dang thing out, it was stuck inside this thing, like this was glued to it, the inner sleeve, I had to cut a piece off of it, not cut a piece, but like cut into it a little bit, where is it, over here on this side, to assist in getting it out, if you know a better way of doing that, let me know, but anyway, the inner sleeve, nice, nice, and then I've already taken it out and put it in one of my own little inner sleeves, but let's look at that, translucent red and black smoke oh that's pretty yes and uh, I did get a chance to listen to this man I know they're like one of the first kind of crossover bands I wouldn't really say they were the first thrash band but um, and at side two you can uh, you can really hear like the show no mercy in it. <laughs> All right, now the next one I got was Fallujah's debut album, The Harvest Wounds. Very nice. It comes as a gatefold. Nice back cover. Very nice. And I don't know exactly what color you would say this is, but I'm going to call it 
smoky plum. What do you think? It's not really a purple, but it's definitely a plum. Can you see my neck of figures in the reflection? <laughs> ah, anyway, very nice. Have not got a chance to listen to it yet. Not yet. Next up, we have Fear the Record. This comes with two little bonus items. A Fear little stencil. Spray paint stencil. And the Tis the Season little 7 inch single. Front there. Back there. And I believe it is red. I believe it's red. Red vinyl. Yes. Look at that. Red vinyl. Very nice. Now, to the record itself. See, this is their 1981 debut, obviously reissued. And it comes with a black polyline bag. And comes in a, like a smoky pearl. Gizmo globin, I mean, uh, smoky pearl. Vinyl, very nice. I like that old slash records label. Reminds me of back in the day. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Let's just look at the back cover there. Very good. Haven't got a chance to listen to this yet. I'm depressed. I've listened to one more of the next two. But I'll get some time, hopefully. All right, the next one is also another debut album. Okay, it's from a band that ah oh, yeah, I mean it was like the early metal core days, whatever you want to say that. Um, but I've actually got to see them live. Um, very good band, very good band, and that is God forbid. And if I'm not mistaken first time this one's on vinyl and this is determination so let's set that aside real quick comes with a nice little fold out it's not, I wouldn't really call it an inner sleeve but an inner insert of band very cool people got to meet them once I'll give you that story sometime maybe back cover it's very artistic the cover it's very uh, a lot of guiding lines let's see if I can get that there we go oh I didn't put away the fear stuff but look at this vinyl pretty pretty Now, cannot wait to hear this one. I don't let's see what does it say. Just some blurbs. It says it's an, it's an expanded recording. So, see what it sounds like. Let me know if you guys want reviews on any of these. Comment down in the in the comments. Hold on this one. And the last one I got, <clears throat> and I have listened to this one, was Lamb of God, As the Palaces Burn. This is their 2003 sophomore record. I think it's the second one. Not including Burn the Priest. This is their second As Lamb of God. But I was excited to get that. And they did the inner sleeve right. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there's two things there. Sorry. But they did aesthetic nice and loose did not get stuck like the crow mags one bitter uh, only because it just put a couple of scuff lines 
not the Lamb of God, the Chromax. Another little insert with the lyric sheet, I think. Oh, no, it's a 10th anniversary blurb. Oh, I have to read that. <coughs> a little kid running around while I'm listening to the music, it's not really easy to pay attention to everything I get to with it. And look at that. Side A, there's side B. All right, well, I mean, that was all I got. I bought another item while I was there, but it wasn't record store day. Oh, and there's the backside of the Lamb of God. Lamb of God. Uh, yeah, about something else, but uh, that'll be in another video coming up. It's going to be an unboxing of a box set I got, Black Sabbath, Volume 4, the Super Deluxe. Super Deluxe. So, that was it. Uh, you know, if you get a chance, go to electricheadrecords.com, see if there's anything I can hook you up with from there. Uh, check out for some pictures maybe on Instagram at electrichead underscore records underscore official. If you're right here, take the time to like, comment, share, subscribe, ring a bell, all that good stuff. Uh, till next time, be safe everybody.